It is the app that is taking over the world. The latest trend comes from a familiar name, Pokemon. 15 million people have downloaded wow. the Pokemon Go app since it launched last week. So what do you need to know before you try to catch them all? Wow, she's going to tell us. Joining us now is the co-founder and CEO of Socialfly, Stephanie Abrams Carton. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. Good morning. So Pokemon Go, it's, we're hearing about it everywhere. What is it? Everyone is using this app. So as you said, 15 million people have downloaded this in the past week. You can download it. It's a game for your smartphone. It's based in augmented reality, which means that you can't just sit here and play the game like you did when you were playing Candy Crush. You have to get up and walk around and catch Pokemon. And see, that's good. <laughs> it gets people out of the house yep. and you're walking around to play the game. Unfortunately, people aren't paying attention. What are some of the bad things <laughs> that have happened to people? Oh, yeah. So I've seen videos of people playing the game and walking and falling into a lake. Yes. Like the so. lady who walked, in, walked into the fountain on her, on her phone. Exactly. I heard someone found a dead body. Yep. Someone else found a weapon. Yes. Yes. So. And what did the, uh, the Holocaust Museum ask down in Washington, D.C.? So they've now asked Nintendo to remove their location from the app because people are going to the museum and actually looking to catch Pokemon, which is completely inappropriate. I mean, so 9 11 we, Memorial, yeah. Arlington National Cemetery. Yeah. I mean, it just people are utterly unaware yes. uh, of where they So, I mean, you, use some common sense in this, but. It feels a little bit like the zomb like the augmented zombie zombie apocalypse, well, right? See, <laughs> people walking around staring at their phone. Well, I wanted to download it this morning, and she was sitting on getting mic'd up this morning, and I said, "I'm going to download this. I can't wait to play it," which surprised <laughs> you. And you said, "Don't do it. Don't Why? do it. Do not log in with your work email." So when they first release, or personal email. Well, what I would do because I like to be very secure and prepared is make a brand new email account that doesn't have any information about you, and then use that Gmail account to log in. And that way you can just be sure because that they can't get any of your data. When mm -hmm. they first released the app, uh, it then gave uh, the company access to all of your information for your <laughs> Gmail account. They've since retracted that and fixed the Good problem, thinking. but you still never know. So better safe than sorry. And everyone could track where you are, oh, right? Yes, yes. That's because the way you, the app works. Because you right. can't yeah. play it unless it's tracking Exactly. You. you have to walk around to find these Pokemon, so you can't sit here and play it. Yeah. You can only see within a few block radius of where these Pokemon are, so you have to get out and move. Sure. One of the things people don't realize, though, is the lures, companies like a, a, a grocery store next door yes. could buy a lure on the Pokemon app, and then you've got to go in there. Exactly. You'll wind up buying Smart. some stuff. It's, a, it's probably good business, good but you don't business. know it. Yes, and also um, the Clinton campaign has been using the, the lures to get people to register to vote. <laughs> so I think this is a very good move for, uh, lure people for the, the politicians How are they to doing get that? people in. If you buy the lures and there's a, um, a pokey stop near where the voter registration is or where people are going to vote, you can then get people to come in because they want to catch more Pokemon. So I think it's a good technique. So, of, uh, how do they make that. their money if it's a free app? Okay, so it's a free app to download, but there's in-app oh. purchases. So if you want to be able to um, collect more uh, coins, then you have to buy These them. are not real coins, though, right? These oh, no. <laughs> You're not it's making fake. actual money here. So I mean, you have kids. to meet up and battle your Pokemon. Uh -huh. It's like mm -hmm. epic nerd battle. Yeah, here's yeah. the ultimate question, exit question. Do you have it on your, any of your devices? I do not have it on my devices, <laughs> but all the women at the social play office have it, and I've played it on theirs, and there's lots of Pokemon is in the office. Wow. It is definitely fun to play. Just watch where you're going. Just be careful. <laughs> all right, Stephanie, thank, thank you very you much. Very Thanks interesting for having stuff. me. Well, coming up